Okay, hi everyone, Daryl here. Okay, uh, today is lesson 33 in my YouTube playlist, Investing 101. And today we're going to talk about uh, this thing called technical and fundamental analysis. Okay, so uh, what is technical and fundamental analysis? Okay, so technical analysis is a method that uses statistical trends from price movements and volume to evaluate investments. So uh, a technical analyst, what, what they do is that they look at, uh, they look at a chart. So they look at the chart and then they see that oh uh, there's a trend forming maybe uh they are trend trading so when a stock or a certain asset moves in a certain manner then they will enter the stock because uh, based on uh, past trends uh the when a, a particular stock or a particular asset moves in a certain manner uh it tends to go up and then go up for how long they will again use technical analysts uh, analysis to make the decision of when to exit. Okay, so a uh, fundamental analysis is a method of uh, analysis is a method of measuring a stock's intrinsic value by looking at the related economic and financial figures. So if you read up about like maybe people like Warren Buffett, then they will say, oh, they always look at the fundamental uh, uh, fundamentals of a company, then they will invest in that company. Yeah, so what they do is that they look at maybe the management, whether management is good. Uh, they will look at the balance sheet and then see whether the balance sheet is healthy. Uh, these are the things that uh, fundamental analysts, uh, what they, these are the things that they look at. Okay, so uh, two very, very different differing schools of thoughts, but uh, I get a lot of slack because I use uh, technical analyst uh, analysis as uh, in my purchase of uh, stocks on the stock market but what I do is that I I uh, put together a basket of stocks uh, that I think that may interest me and then I use uh, technical analysis to uh, look at charts and then see when I should enter okay so um, te technical analysts they are called chartists uh, so uh, pure technical analysts, right? They are chartists and then they negate the fundamentals of a particular stock. That means that they don't even look at the fundamentals. They don't. They don't even bother about who is the uh, CEO, who is the who are the management inside. And what they do is that they just look on pure trends. So if they see a whole basket of stocks on the stock market and then they see that uh, these are the stocks that are displaying this particular. Um, chart pattern and then they will just trade it based on the chart pattern okay uh, but like i mentioned before right uh i think that technical uh, analysis has a role to play when it comes to investing and we should use it as an indicator of when to enter a stock okay and with the prevalence of this thing called high speed trading that means that a lot of times uh, machines are trading the stock more than humans so if you if you realize that in the US there are instances where there are flash crashes so what it does is that because a certain pattern has formed and then all the computers around the world they make the trade based on that then the market tends to um, go down or up in a certain manner very very quickly because computers can click a lot uh, click the button a lot a lot faster than human beings so once there is a there is a chance to make a profit right or in, in any other way, right, the computer will actually enter the trade first. So this is actually frustrating for people that uh, want to maybe make a purchase, but before they can do it, right, when they see an opportunity, the computer really does it already. So um, what I'm trying to say is that uh, we should always use technical ana uh, analysis to complement our investment analysis. Um, this is also prevalent and it also helps people to understand different markets, whether it's the stock market or the property market, uh, people always trade based on trends. So they, they see the market going in a certain manner. Uh, it has the, it's forming a trend to move in a certain manner. So uh, these are, these are logic, has, logic as to why uh, you purchase a certain asset. Okay. So a fundamental analyst, right, they study the macroeconomic and microeconomic factors that affect the stock. So a macroeconomic factor is actually something like uh, maybe the overall economy. Then a microeconomic factor is something like maybe the management or the balance sheet of a company. So um, it's always good 
practice to look at the fundamentals of an investment. I don't, uh, I don't uh, advocate looking at just a technical standpoint or a fundamental standpoint, but we should always complement both. Uh, so if you, I'll be sharing a bit more on uh, my journey in investing in the stock market and I will actually briefly tell you guys that what I do is that I try to choose a basket of stocks which I find interesting and I put it in my watch list and then after that, what I'll do is that uh, for all these stocks, right, I will always look out for technical indicators of when I can actually trade the stock. So it's, it's, it's something whereby I know I, I know I want to get into the market uh, and but when certain buy signals uh, signal me to enter into a certain counter, then I will also go in. So we can use this same theory when we are looking at uh, property investment. So we can always say that, okay, if the fundamentals look good, like for example, if the macroeconomic uh, scenario, the economy is doing well, then the microeconomic factors uh, are also doing well, then uh, maybe macroeconomic when it comes to let's say Singapore market, so the Singapore economy is doing well, and maybe the microeconomic factor may be something like um, maybe the Pai Leba area is going to go through a rejuvenation and it's going to be a new um, city center, like a, like a satellite city center. Then that is a microeconomic factor. Then after that next is that we need to look at the uh, technicals and see whether the, the prices in the area are moving in a certain manner. Uh, then these are small little things that you can use from the stock market. You can't put them wholesale into the property market, but what you can do is that from understanding how to use uh, technical indicators and fundamental indicators in the stock market, right? It can make you a better investor in whenever you look into different different markets because there is a train of thought when you try to buy a property or when you try to buy a certain asset. Okay, uh, what I've always advocated is that. Uh, it's good practice to uh, learn different disciplines and put them together and then uh, form an opinion of why you should be investing. Yep, so um, that's all for me for this week and I'll see you in the next video.